today I'm doing a wee bit of fly tying. Um, I'm going to be tying uh, this thing here, which is a fly that I've been having a lot of success with uh, since the start of the winter. Um, I never invented it. I don't know who did. <laughs> I don't even really know what to call it. You could call it I call it a Christmas tree decoration because the first one I found was very much like a Christmas tree decoration. You could certainly have hung it on a tree quite happily, as long as there was no children around with to catch hooks. Um, but uh, you could call it a golden damsel, I, I suppose. I don't know. Um, when it works, and more often than not it does, I would say 60-70% of the time, uh, when it works, it is and I don't say this lightly, it is devastatingly effective. Um, and you'll soon know, because it doesn't take too many casts to get a reaction. And once you start getting them, uh, it just it just catches and catches. I've never actually fished with a fly like it. So uh, I worked, sort of backward engineered, if you like, the one that I found. I don't think the material is exactly as the one that, that I came across because it, was, it seemed like a slightly thicker, it was almost like Christmas tree tinsel but I've actually tried tying it with Christmas tree tinsel and it's very very difficult and this is much better because I came across the materials. So for materials uh, I'm using, uh, for the example here I'm using Camasan uh, B830, uh, just there. I hope you can see that, B830 um, standard lure hook uh, I'm tying this in an 8 just for example's sake. I tend to use 10s and 12s. I, I don't generally tie. I don't generally fish hooks as big as 8s, but the, you know, that's just uh, for so you can see it. Um, material, you'll need uh, some of this stuff. I find this is probably this has been the best stuff so far. Um, I don't know if you can see it up there. It's called uh, Semper Fly Extreme String Gold 40mm. Um, very very uh, mobile, relatively easy to tie with. I got hold of the stuff at um, the fly fishing fair, and I'm sure you can get it online at any of the Semper Fly dealers. Uh, for the body, I use this stuff, Ice Gub, Ice Ice Gub, Ice Dub Gold Hairline. Uh, you'll need some gold wire, bulk chain eyes, super glue, and thread I use uh, a nano silk um, so let's go on and tie so I'll stick your hook in the vise and tie on your thread Piece of your silk. And I've just got to put my magnifiers on this because I'm struggling to see with the old eyes. Uh, bulk chain eyes. So don't use your best scissors for this. And I tend to tie them on, on the bottom of the hook. I think it makes the fly swim better for things that use these as a, a head weight. Now you could, if you wanted, I suppose, add extra weight by tying in lead, either wire or foil. Uh, it's up to yourself. I don't think it really needs it. It's quite a slim proportion fly anyway and it sinks relatively quickly. It's not like marabou or like um, fur. So you'll not have any, it doesn't have any real major resistance to sinking. So you can fish it off a floating line or certainly or fish it off a, um, fish it off a, an intermediate is what I tend to do. So Put a good, good few figure eight turns on there, and then a wee dot of super glue, which will secure everything and keep it tight. In my experience, this fly has had such a battering that the thing that tends to take the knocks is the uh, 
is the, uh, the Bob Jean eyes. And when the first one that I had, the one that I found, the one that I found, and uh, his eyes came off, and actually, the rest of the fly was actually okay. And so, I actually tied the eyes back on and went out and used that again. <laughs> Because it just kept catching. It's now it, it felt a bit. Eventually, it did have just ripped the shreds by so many, so many um, fish. Anyway, so now you want to tie in your gold wire. I just tend to tie it in at the bottom of the hook shank. nice and neat <laughs> to be honest though it's quite a scuffy fly you'll never see any of this stuff underneath right down to just before the bend of the hook and then you get your extreme string I've got a wee cut off piece here already now it's got quite a thick cord this stuff it's, it's not the it's not it's not just a slim cord that's in the middle it's like a it's like a braided sort of cord that's not so what I tend to do is try and pull some of the fibres back out the way and lie it up the shank air hook and just get some open spaced wraps right up to just behind the eye behind the uh, head as I say it doesn't have to be super neatness because you're not going to see any of this in the end and then you're ready to put your tail. So this is going to be your tail and you're tying it sort of hackle style. So give it a full turn, pull all the fibres back and another turn. And I tend to find two full turns all the way around is about right. And you can see it gives you your tail line back like that. So it's had about two there. Come over and wrap it all down to a three good solid tight turns just to secure all that because as I say it's a thick cord in the middle. Pull any loose fibres back and give a couple more turns over the top before you do the next bit. So now you want your, your dubbin. Now this stuff, although it's quite long, straggly and looks quite coarse, actually dubs on really easy. So I don't even bother with wax for it. You just don't need it. Um, get yourself a bit of thread and it sort of almost twists on like we done the strands of wire. Get a nice thin rope at the back of your fly. You turn over. Just make sure you're covering that back bit. And then start to bring it forward. And just give it a twist. And then turn it on. Twist. Turn it on. Twist. Just keep building it up. And if you need a wee bit more, what can I do? Just dub it on. It's no big deal really easy to dub stuff this. I bought this stuff originally for tying the heads on these Midas dry flies. It's got a gold head on it and that's when I had this, happened to have this lying about. So bring it up behind the eye. You don't need to go bang right up against it because there's a head hack going go in here as well. And then get your wire and wrap the opposite direction Fairly open turns, six or seven wraps is probably about right on a fly this size. Just to hold it all in place, protect it against those nasty aggressive rainbow trouts. And actually I suspect this would be a good river fly as well actually, I think the brownies would go for this. It's not too big, it's gold, I tend to think things go for colours the same same as themselves and they think it's wee fry or something like that so just block it off 
right thumb. Bring it round. This has decided to have a mind of its own. So a couple of wraps over the top of that tail. Then you can worry off. Take the rest of your extreme string. I keep going to call it straggle string, but it's extreme string. Keep get the rest of that. Wee bit the tail end of the, the cord behind the eye. Give it a good couple of tight wraps in because you want it to hold it nice and secure. And again, another couple of turns. I would say full turns. One, bringing it forward, over, reach up over the top of the other, so you get a good head hackle with it. Keep pulling back any loose fibres, just take the time to do it. I'd say that's about right there. And then you want to tie off the cord. Just try and get, your, get a nice clear way. I've got a wee bit of loop, some snag here. There we go. Just a wee loop in there. Stuff snagged under itself. So one, two, so three turns over the top should be enough to hold that. Quite thick material, so get rid of the waste piece, and then pull it all back. All your wee strands, get them well out of the way, and wrap over the top of it properly. And a good, good few turns over there. Just get it all as neat. And then you can give another couple of figures eight if you like over your bog chain eyes to help bed it all down. And finally you can tie it off with your bit finished tool or your fingers, whichever way you choose to do it. I'll use a bit finished tool to date, some days I do it the other way. And I tend to tie it off behind the eyes just because it protects it's a wee bit better when it's got that in front of it. Now, because it's, I'm using Nanosoft, I could just leave that, but because I've got a wee bit, because I've got a wee bit super glue here, I'm just going to put a final wee dab of super glue on that head, just to give it a good secure top and bottom and that's that really it's really quite simple very very effective um, so I hope you enjoyed that I've been asked about this a few times when I've been out fishing I've not really been asked about it online funnily enough but certainly when I've been out fishing quite a few people have come up and asked me what it is and how do you tie it and all the rest of it so that's how I do it um, I hope you enjoyed that uh, if you enjoy the stuff that's on my channel, please subscribe, uh, give the website a wee look. And at the moment, I mean, this is, I'm trying to think what date today is, this is I think the 6th of April. Um, up until about uh, next Friday, I've got a wee competition running on my Facebook page. If you look it up, uh, there's a post referring to the Fish for Flies review. Um, if you dig that out and uh, give my own page and fish for flies if you like and share that post and your name will go into a wee draw and you'll get a wee selection of flies we sample flies from fish for flies and i'll throw a couple of these in while i'm at it so uh that only works up till end of next friday that's i'm trying to think something like what's this if this is the 6th is it 13th 14th something like that of april this is 2019 so 
Good luck with that if you have a go, and uh, I'll see you again.